Tesla will pioneer this technology, but countless other companies will start making humanoid robots too. There's basically only one path to making everyone wealthy, and that's through AI and robotics. Although Elon hasn't explicitly explained how the Tesla bot could generate income for owners, he's made it crystal clear that Optimus has serious potential to make people wealthier through the valuable tasks it can accomplish. The simplest way to understand it is this. Tesla bot can transport products, serve meals in restaurants, or even work as a coffee maker or bartender. Tesla has already put them to work at the Tesla diner, which is solid proof that the robot can actually earn money. In simple terms, if you purchase one for approximately $50,000, it could completely pay for itself in just two to three years. Elon claims Optimus could wipe out poverty and provide excellent health care to everyone. In his vision, that's technology's ultimate purpose, not just making profits, but genuinely improving the world. Elon also highlights that the essential components for building Optimus have existed inside Tesla for years. That's because Tesla vehicles are already robots. They just roll on four wheels instead of walking. Look at the CyberCab Robotaxi, for instance. Completely autonomous, fully self-driving, essentially a robot that looks like a car. Every Tesla electric vehicle already contains the components of a humanoid robot, a battery system, power electronics, motors, a gearbox, connectivity, an AI vision system, a custom processing chip, sophisticated control software, and the infrastructure to manage an entire autonomous fleet. All these elements directly translate into what makes a full-sized robot work. And because Tesla has already perfected these components at massive scale, Musk is absolutely convinced the company is perfectly positioned to dominate the global humanoid robotics market. To him, Optimus is simply a robot with arms and legs attached. From that angle, Musk confidently declared during the meeting that Tesla is already the world's biggest robot manufacturer. Tesla is already the largest robot manufacturer on Earth because every car they produce is basically a robot. When you break it down to the core elements, you've got batteries, power electronics, motors, gearboxes, connectivity, and vision-based AI. Let's be real here. Nothing on this planet is more intelligent than humans. Nothing can truly replace us, let alone overpower us. But Elon Musk is still dumping billions into this project because he genuinely believes Tesla can construct a robot with a brain, arms, and legs that function almost identically to a human's. And yeah, this is probably where the whole Terminator scenario pops into your head, right? But flip your perspective for a moment. What if we had a humanoid robot that actually helps us out? A personal assistant that grabs you a cold beer, makes your breakfast, and cleans your entire house without you lifting a single finger. We're talking about when we hit 60 years old, who wouldn't want a companion like that? And that's exactly the kind of future we're about to witness next year with the Tesla Bot Gen 3. While Chinese humanoid robots are still stumbling around with flashy, battery-draining demonstration moves and collapsing the second their power runs out, Elon Musk is concentrated on transforming the Tesla bot into a machine that can operate non-stop 24-7 without breaks and without dying after just a couple hours. If Optimus achieves probably five times the productivity of a person per year because it can run all day and night, it doesn't even need to recharge. It can operate while tethered, so it's plugged in the entire time. According to Elon Musk, Tesla Bot Gen 3 can work at five times human productivity. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of people, helping the elderly, and managing a long list of complicated tasks that Chinese robots might need another decade to match. But that level of performance also means Tesla Bot requires significantly more advanced engineering, especially in its battery pack, because that's the primary energy source keeping the robot running for hours straight. Most people don't realize this but inside Tesla Bot are hundreds of actuators, large and small. Every single step, every movement consumes a substantial amount of energy. The heavier the robot weighs, the more energy it burns through. That's exactly why most China bots run out of battery so incredibly fast. They're simply too heavy. With Tesla Bot Gen 3, however, Musk says it now uses one of Tesla's finest battery technologies with a significantly larger pack that allows the robot to operate much longer before needing a recharge. 
14 hours of continuous operation is something no other humanoid robot on Earth has ever accomplished. Tesla set the record, and they're already working on smashing it again. When Tesla first revealed the very first Optimus prototype, it only had a 2.3 kilowatt hour LFB battery pack. Since it was just an early proof of concept to launch the project, Tesla didn't invest too heavily in the pack. It was basically just enough to let the robot perform a few basic movements. By late 2023, Tesla introduced Optimus Gen 2 with major upgrades in appearance and performance. This version could execute more refined actions and tasks, proving that Tesla was genuinely committed to humanoid robots. However, the battery pack still didn't change dramatically. Tesla only slightly boosted the capacity from 2.3 kilowatt hours to 2.5 kilowatt hours. That might be partially because Tesla reduced the weight of Optimus Gen 2 from 160 pounds down to 138 pounds. A lighter body means the robot uses less energy to move and complete tasks. But here's the most important part. Gen 2 was still an experimental prototype, not a commercial product. Elon Musk even stated Tesla wouldn't mass-produce the Gen 2 version. They made radical improvements to Optimus's design while increasing functionality, but making it actually possible to manufacture. Gen 2 is almost impossible to manufacture, frankly. The gold-colored Optimus units we've been watching over the past year were actually upgraded to version 2.5. The design modifications were minor, and the battery pack remained the same. These versions only appeared smarter because their internal AI systems received massive upgrades. The genuine battery breakthrough occurred when Tesla shifted to Optimus Gen 3. Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla will use the 4680 battery cell in a robot for the very first time, and the pack size could jump to approximately 6 kilowatt hours, enabling it to work for a complete 14 hours without requiring a recharge. On top of that, Optimus Gen 3 looks and moves so incredibly human-like that it's almost unbelievable. They're looking forward to unveiling Optimus V3, probably in Q1. It'll be ready to show off, and it's going to be quite remarkable. It won't even look like a robot. It'll look like a person wearing a robot suit, which is kind of how they started with Optimus. But it'll seem so authentic that you'll need to actually poke it to believe it's really a robot. This will be Tesla's first official commercial version next year. With this premium model, Optimus will handle an entire range of tasks, roughly 3,000 useful tasks from simple to highly complex, essentially functioning like a fully capable household assistant. Cooking, cleaning, organizing, whatever you need, it can handle it because Tesla has been training these abilities for over a year. This version will also be deployed in several hospitals, an Optimus Gen may third even serve in roles similar to a surgical assistant or potentially a robotic surgeon in the future. Optimus will be an incredible surgeon, for example. Imagine if everyone had access to an incredible surgeon. Elon Musk has repeatedly stressed that this robot will be an invaluable assistant for busy individuals, taking care of household chores after work. In other words, Optimus is designed to give you your time back. Just picture this. Within the 14 hours after activation, Optimus can clean the house, cook meals, mow the lawn, or fold your laundry. Yes, everything is finished by the time you get home. From what we understand, running continuously for 14 hours before needing a recharge is already impressive. However, Optimus will consume more energy when performing tasks that require lots of movement compared to stationary tasks. A 6 kilowatt hour battery pack isn't actually massive but it's sufficient to power its entire actuator system for that duration. Now, what's truly surprising is how Optimus recharges. All this time, we assume charging would work like an electric car where you plug it in manually, but no, it's completely automatic. Yeah, it's way more intelligent than we initially imagined. It's hard to believe, but Tesla Optimus can recharge itself without the user plugging anything in, just like the cyber cab. CyberCab automatically returns to a parking bay equipped with a wireless charging pad where it charges itself completely on its own. When it comes to Optimus, the notion that you'd waste time manually plugging it in is basically pointless because it can navigate, position itself, and automatically dock with a wall-mounted charger using its extended connector. This is the charging port Optimus aligns with independently. 
and once it's fully charged, it disconnects and goes straight back to work. That's precisely why no competitor can keep pace with Tesla. This is a fully autonomous robot from beginning to end. Honestly, we're curious how long it'll take for Chinese robots to charge themselves, maybe another 20 years. Currently, most people still frequently compare Xpeng's Iron Robot and Tesla's Optimus. Many argue that Xpeng will win this competition because the Iron Robot looks more human-like, walks like a runway model, and even has synthetic skin and muscles that make it feel more like a person than a machine. Xpeng Iron really doesn't resemble traditional robots. It doesn't have an exposed metal shell. Its entire body is covered with flexible fibers and its interior is composed of a human-like spine and bionic muscles following a three-layer structure of bone, muscle, skin. It has a feminine chest and even its height and weight are similar to an actual human. It stands around 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighs 176 pounds, uses a bionic spine and soft full-body skin, and packs more than 60 joints with up to around 200 degrees of freedom. Each hand reaches about 22 degrees of freedom, close to a human hand in size and flexibility. Its visual system covers almost 360 degrees around the body and inside the torso. Xpeng is already discussing deploying three proprietary Turing AI chips, plus solid-state batteries for higher energy density and safety. What's most striking about iron is its walking posture, a clear departure from the rigid, clumsy mechanical legs of earlier robots. Walking has long been a central challenge in humanoid robotics. On stage, iron moved so smoothly that many people were convinced it was just a human in a costume. So Xpeng cut open the skin on the spot to prove that there was no real person hidden inside. Alongside the impressive demonstrations, Xpeng is also positioning itself as Tesla's direct competitor, expanding from electric vehicles into humanoid robotics. Iron is deliberately designed with a more feminine, socially friendly appearance, aiming to feel like a companion rather than a bare industrial tool. The company has announced plans for mass production in 2026 using solid-state batteries and the three in-house Turing AI chips. And the CEO even predicts that within the next decade, Xpeng will sell more robots than cars. Optimus Gen 3 is a little shorter and lighter than iron at about 5 feet 8 inches tall and roughly 125 pounds. Its top speed is capped around 5 miles per hour for safety, and its payload is tuned for practical factory jobs, about 20 pounds carried in the arms and up to 150 pounds for a deadlift. Instead of chasing maximum degrees of freedom across the entire body, Tesla uses roughly 40 degrees of freedom, but spends its complexity budget where it matters most, the hands, which now feature about 22 degrees of freedom, plus extra articulation in the wrist and forearm. The goal isn't to impress the audience with lifelike hip motion. It's to let Optimus grasp tools, turn knobs, fold clothes, pick items from bins, and interact with real objects predictably and reliably. And unlike Xpeng, Tesla isn't starting from zero on the AI side. Optimus is built on the same core philosophy and much of the same software stack as Tesla's full self-driving system which has already been trained on billions of kilometers of real-world data and deployed in hundreds of thousands of cars globally. Tesla has a complete pipeline for collecting camera data, labeling it, training large neural networks, running them efficiently on edge hardware, and iterating quickly as the real world provides continuous feedback. That same pipeline now feeds Optimus. Recent demonstrations where the robot imitates human movements, practices basic kung fu, or picks and places objects aren't hand-coded animations, but examples of vision-based imitation learning running on a mature AI infrastructure. Xpeng also has its own physical world model and Turing chips, but its ecosystem is younger, more localized to China, and far smaller in terms of deployed edge devices and global data. Strategically, Xpeng is aiming iron at retail, tourism, and service scenarios first, where appearance and emotional interaction are critical. That explains why they emphasize a feminine silhouette, synthetic skin, hair, and clothing options. Tesla, in contrast, has been almost boringly consistent. Optimus exists to take over dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks in Tesla's own factories first, then in other companies' factories, and eventually in homes. 
That may not go viral like a robot catwalking under spotlights, but it targets the clearest source of economic value, labor, and productivity. In that context, Optimus's supposedly simpler design suddenly looks very rational. A 125-pound robot that moves at walking speed can lift 150 pounds, but normally carries a safe 20 pounds, and has a hard shell that's easy to maintain, is exactly what you want around heavy machinery and human coworkers. Tesla can deploy thousands of Optimus units inside its gigafactories as soon as they're reliable enough, giving the robots a continuous high-value training ground and giving Tesla a direct incentive to keep improving them. According to Musk, three exceptionally difficult challenges have prevented most companies from building truly effective robots, engineering functional arms and hands, developing artificial intelligence that can operate reliably in the real world, and achieving large-scale manufacturing. So what do you think about the Tesla bot? Would you want to own one? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching Tech Drive. See you in the next one.